Well hello everybody and welcome to June's Agricology blog. Um, today we thought we'd talk about sustainable animals in low input systems and I'm really proud of our dairy cows here at Dalesford. We're farming 100% organically and you know your very modern intensive cow doesn't fit into this organic system in my opinion. Uh, very well. So 12 years ago we started a breeding program to breed back to something which was uh, much better suited to an organic system. So we're originally high uh, input, high output Holsteins and over 12 years we've bred back to this British Frisian. And what we've ended up with is a really nice medium sized, sized cow, plenty of confirmation. These are averaging about 7,000 litres of milk per lactation on uh, one tonne of protein. The other great advantage of having these cattle are that the calves born from them are really useful to our beef enterprise and in fact we're now, we have now bred actually so many really nice cows that far fewer are having to go back to black and whites. The remainder go to Hereford and the best of the Hereford female calves are kept to go on to be single suckle cows themselves and I'm hoping to find a group of those to show you as well. So the cow's not only producing milk, it's producing beef and it's going on to produce great mothers for our commercial single suckle herd as well. Um, we've got a dairy grazing paddock system here, we've got about 21 paddocks that we've split up. So this 30 acre field that we're standing in has been split up into six paddocks and we've got a day night rotating uh, rotation uh, which is conserving a huge amount of grass and is working really well. But super simple thing to do, we just bred from the Holstein back to a British Frisian uh, and she's helping us in all sorts of ways. So now we're down in a in a field at the southern end of the farm with a mob of Hereford Cross cows. Hereford Cross cows were by the thousand 30 years ago you know and were seen as an ultimate beef single suckle cow. Um, because we've bred such nice Frisians back in the dairy herd um, as I said before, a lot of them now are uh, uh, run with Hereford bull or inseminated with Her Hereford semen. And we're getting these tremendous Hereford cross cows, which are then going on to produce these, these beef cows, which are either using a Gloucester, um, a South Devon or an Angus bull over. You can see we've got a South Devon bull in this year. But these cows are pretty self-maintaining and they'll look after themselves. They come in in the winter tend to keep them on a pretty low grade diet up until calving time just to keep the fat off their backs and then out they go and they do very well from grass only diets. They've always got plenty of milk so the calves are always growing tremendously um, and when we wean the animals you know as opposed to a pedigree uh, Aberdeen Angus or South Devon these will be 15% heavier. Um, just tremendous crossing cows um, from our Frisian herd so again there's a really nice um, sustainability aspect to the whole thing as well. What I didn't tell you before was that having bred to British Frisian now when we gained pedigree status in 2014, 75% um, of the cows in our milking herd are now in their sixth lactation or, ab or above. So again, you know, becoming more and more sustainable the whole time. Have a great month, hope you make some really nice hay. See you in July.